Ten Hut. Hi guys, General Splatton here. Today I want to uh, take a look at some of the books in my library. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, DVDs and watching painting tutorials on YouTube, uh, buying DVDs, but also uh, buying books and magazines. And so today I want to show you some of the uh, modeling books that I have and painting uh, books. Uh, this is going to be a two-part series. I did one long one. It was way too long, so I decided to just uh, split it up into two different videos. So hopefully there will be another video up uh, later on this evening. Uh, the first book in the uh, that I want to show you, this is an Osprey publishing book, Osprey Modeling. This is Modeling Scale Figures. Uh, very, very nice book. Uh, if you many of you probably familiar with uh, Osprey and the uh, different modeling books they put out for tanks and aircraft and ships and things like that uh, but this is a, a good good book uh, talks about uh, figures uh, tools that you would need different types of putties and just uh, what the author uses uh, preparing your model, getting it ready for uh, uh, priming and assembly, doing uh, uh, gap filling, things like that. Uh, making custom, like he making a, he makes a custom vest here for this particular figure. Uh, prepping the model, getting it ready, doing some uh, priming and uh, initial washes, all the way to constructing figures. Uh, doing uh, sculpture work, then painting and finishing. Uh, a lot of the different, it goes into some airbrush stuff, magnification, brushes, <clears throat> different uh, uh, mediums to use for thinning paints and things of that nature. Uh, and being an acrylic uh, background uh, that I come from, uh, it's nice to see uh, working with oil paints and how to do that. Uh, and these type figures that was the main way to do it for years and years great results shows you how to uh, use oil paints and the basic techniques which I'm not familiar with uh, shield work um, goes into enamels this is dealing with enamels here uh, painting tartans for any of you people that play troll bloods <laughs> there's a good way to do uh, tartans for those uh, then goes into using acrylic paints which we're all familiar with uh, the process involved there now these are usually larger figures you're talking 54 75 90 120 millimeter uh, figures but the the processes are still the same uh, painting horses uh, excellent uh, section on painting horses uh, using uh, uh, oil paints uh, Modeling Mounted Knight, where it creates capes and drapes for the uh, horse itself. Uh, good uh, area on uh, polishing metal instead of painting it, polishing it, and then uh, using some uh, washes uh, to uh, bring out the details. Now, this is an interesting section. This is a small scale figure. Uh, this is a 30 millimeter figure painted by uh, Jennifer Haley. It's a little troll I mean a little uh, goblin uh, samurai type figure but the steps that she used color she used uh, processes she used to uh, create this figure is in here as well so it was in a little neat surprise in this book and there's the finish model there uh, goes on into uh, getting into bigger I mean uh, more detailed uh, ways to model figure. This is uh, large scale figures like bus, preparing those, doing uh, extra work to them, uh, then painting different steps, painting it all up, then modeling it up into the uh, finished figure. Uh, then the gallery back here, just some stunning work, uh, just amazing. Uh, you know, we're in the fantasy realm, do not have a or have not cornered the market on just amazing amazing pieces these are you know easily uh, any kind of comp fantasy competition uh, worthy uh, 
So I want to show you this one here. This is not a photograph of an actual soldier. As the caption says, below is a 1 16th scale British paratrooper in Northern Ireland by Lee Dobson. I mean, that is photorealistic, folks. I mean, the resolution on these <laughs> is well below, you know, a foot. We're talking two or three inches. The detail work on this uh, Pilly Pilly model with the uh, fabric and then the tattoo is just astounding. So, uh, don't discount these books out just because they're talking about Indians or bus or uh, military figures. You can learn a lot from these type of books. Uh, goes into it's got a good uh, resource section back here with other uh, books by Osprey and other publishers. Uh, things, uh, Pegaso models and other related items as well so an excellent excellent book Osprey books are usually 25 or less US I think this was like around 15 16 17 dollars modeling scale figures next is another Osprey book this is a uh, Osprey modeling manual it's modeling World War II figures and uh, <clears throat> this is about uh, dioramas and Good thing I like about this is it gives you some ideas about rubble work and painting uh, bricks. I mean, you can look at here and guess at colorations. You know, building big, large-scale dioramas, uh, different elements that go into it. But you can you can glean a lot just by looking at the photographs on this concrete section about the washes used to uh, create uh, rain lines and stains. Uh, doing work as far as putting the figure together, smoothing things out, uh, adding uh, layers to it, uh, the painting process, uh, the colors used they, they go into, uh, and the finished processes. Coloration on this uh, uh, flax suit, or flight suit rather, and the different techniques involved in that. On over to like a German fighter pilot, the Waffen SS, it gives you uh, how to do camo for you guys that have uh, um, the Imperial Guard, things like that. And the finished products down here as well. What do they look like? And here's what I'm talking about about uh, composition, like for uh, little vignettes on a uh, base, you know, the the work of the stonework and the rubble used, uh, and a little like a signpost. Uh, a fence with some grass and snow effects on it. Uh, a column, a brickwork. So and you can glean a lot from these uh, trench works. Uh, you can glean glean a lot from these the different uh, books. It just it's not just limited to fantasy. You know, there's a lot we can learn from other sources as well. Uh, this. Uh, soldier here and the way the base is constructed and the the realistic stone and grass work on it. Uh, the rubble used in this particular piece here. So, I mean, there's a lot that we can uh, understand. Now this one right here, this uh, snow scene, uh, this diorama, uh, excellent work. Snow looks very realistic. It goes into uh, some detail about how they did that, how they constructed it. I mean, it's an amazing piece of uh, modeling and painting. Uh, just a wonderful resource. And then uh, building <clears throat> building a, uh, uh, a little vignette from start to finish. Uh, different techniques, how they did it. Uh, the groundwork, everything. So another excellent model. Modeling book, uh, Osprey uh, Modeling Manual. Then, this one is a compendium modeling manual. Uh, this is not an Osprey book. I don't know if they're related or not. But uh, this is basic military uh, vehicle modeling. Now, this is a pretty interesting book because this gets into, obviously, construction of these. In this little section here, they're doing a uh, Jeep and a Hummer. You know, building the model, a uh, little detail work. Uh, certainly building tanks and uh, vehicles in 40k and other other uh, 
uh, games this sort of thing can help you know weathering undercarriage paints used techniques used assembly work uh, painting up uh, details but the interesting thing about this here is that uh, as I'll show over here the first section is uh, about airbrushing the Hummer you know for those that have uh, airbrushes and this talks about the uh, enamel paints uh, used for it and things of that nature and assembling and painting instructions uh, things to look for things to do color modulation uh, doing uh, masks for the different uh, camo patterns and laying those out and getting those right to make it look realistic but there's another section over here for guys that don't have an airbrush brush painting all right they're going to do the exact same thing on vehicles, but they're not going to use an airbrush at all. It's all going to be strictly uh, brush uh, applied. Uh, different uh, techniques, different uh, effects, and what you can achieve with a brush is just as stunning as anything that an airbrush can produce if you put in the time and effort. You know, practical dry brushing, adding mud, adding weathering techniques. Uh, painting on uh, their own version of color modulation, laying out patterns, uh, painting in those patterns, uh, how to get realistic effects. So, uh, this is an excellent resource for a person that doesn't have an airbrush. And the results that you can achieve is, like I said, just as stunning as any kind of airbrush, if you're careful and take your time. Uh, fading techniques for uh, using airbrush and also using a brush. You see the fading techniques in basically color modulation for an airbrush if I'm not mistaken. You know colors used, patterns used, the airbrushing techniques, same thing. You get the same type of effects with airbrush and it goes into talking about those. Lays those out. You know uh, very realistic modeling uh, all the way around. Laying out you know, some kind of wild pattern like this tiger mouth. Um, and how to achieve that and lay those out. So, uh, and the effects, it's, you know, uh, painting three colors and weathering. Goes into weathering, using using airbrush to weather. It, it talks, uh, if I'm not mistaken, in here about uh, using pigments in other parts. So, a lot of, uh, a lot of good basic materials here. Uh, applying decals. Even refurbishing old models, if you buy something off eBay, you know, that's in pretty good shape, but you want to spruce it up a bit, gives you some ideas and techniques for that. Uh, so, things that you can add, detailing, stuff like that. So, excellent, excellent uh, uh, book. And this is a Compendium Modeling Manuals, Basic Military Vehicle Modeling. So, those are the uh, first three. There will be some more hopefully this evening, uh, certainly by tomorrow. I uh, want to encourage you that if you've got other books, uh, do a video response to uh, my video. Let me see your books. You might have a book that I've never heard of that I want. So uh, I'd love to see what you've got. Uh, you know, help us uh, spread the word and get, um, you know, some resources out there because. Uh, What's helped me grow as a painter is not only watching YouTube videos, but buying uh, painting DVDs, but certainly these books that I'm showing you, and magazines as well, and I'll be showing you some magazines later on. Uh, so if you're serious about growing as a painter and uh, developing your craft, uh, then uh, share the love. Show, show um, your library and some of your books and things of that nature. So I look forward to seeing those, and just do a video response to this video. Well, I uh, hope I inspired you to maybe uh, get out of your comfort zone uh, get on amazon.com or somewhere like that and find you some resources that can help you uh, to grow and progress in this hobby well if you got any questions or comments let me know uh, hope to uh, hear from you soon this is general splatten i'll talk again dismissed